Hi, I'm Joe Gertis, and this is Coffee in the Capital. Joining us today is Russell Redding, Secretary of the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. Mr. Secretary, thank you for joining us. Uh, it, it is good to be here, and it's good to see you and hear you. Thank you very much. Mr. Secretary, let's get right at it. I know uh, one of the things that's, uh, that's near and dear to everybody and on top of their minds uh, is the, the Pennsylvania Farm Show. And I know you recently made a, a tough decision to, to move to a virtual platform. Uh, so we, we knew, you know, we had a really tough decision to make and we had been monitoring that throughout the, you know, the spring, early summer. And in some respects, it was an easy decision because we understood the dynamic. I mean, there's no way you're going to put 500,000 people in that complex right. height of places, right? The more right. difficult decision is, well, what do you do, right, right, to fill that space? And, of course, the outcome of that was our, our virtual farm show. Uh, we, we are used to having a farm show where you use all five senses. Uh, now we're going to a, to a farm show that you use one and maybe two, uh, depending whether you can hear and, and certainly see things. But you can't touch, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. Sure. Uh, that's our challenge. But all of that to say, there's also an opportunity side for us to say, you know, we, we are usually waiting for people to come into, into Harrisburg. And now we can right. take it out, right? You can take it around Pennsylvania at all four corners. You can take it around the region, in fact, around the globe. So right. we're excited about it. And I know one of the things that's on everybody's mind is what are they going to do without, uh, you know, how are they going to get their milkshake fix uh, over the next, uh, over the next, you know, do they have to wait till, uh, uh, till 2022 or? Yeah, well, myself included, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, all the great I, food from the food court, which is such a memorable part uh, of the farm show for everybody. Yeah, it, it is. So, uh, in fact, you, know, you touch on the topic of the milkshake and the food court, and it's probably the most complicated piece of farm ship. So we, we are looking at what we can do. You know, there's going to be an opportunity here in a couple of weeks, uh, you know, something called uh, the Feast of the Farm Show uh, mm -hmm. Festival. We're going to try it uh, on November 13th through the 15th uh, with food trucks in the farm show parking lot. Oh, wow. Right. So it'll have your your favorites there, uh, milkshakes and chicken and potatoes and french fries and all that kind of stuff. We're going to try it. And part of that is a dry run to see what we can actually do during farm show in the parking lot on the weekends of farm show. Uh, now, the weather here is obviously a big factor. A little unpredictable that time of year. Yeah. Yeah. But well, we're going to try, to your point, we're going to really try to accommodate sort of the public's desire for uh, for those farm show foods. So maybe that's another way to you know, taste the farm show this year by by way of these uh, festivals. Mr. Secretary, uh, PSATs in the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture have a long uh, history of working together and agriculture is so woven into the fabric of our townships. And and just, just wanted to, to touch uh, with you on that and, and, and get your view on, on how important that partnership is. It's a critical partnership, you know, and as proud as I am of, of Farm Show and, and all of those nice things, uh, at the end of the day, I think we've all been reminded of what is critical and what's essential over the last seven seven months. And without question, the relationship that we have with stakeholders, with PSATs, uh, and I think our local governments uh, is absolutely essential. And we've been reminded of that time and again uh, over the last seven months. So. Uh, our relationship, I, I put it in the inseparable category, right? Uh, yep. we, we rely on uh, PSATs uh, uh, and the township supervisors personally to sort of make things work locally. Initial conversations around farm and preservation start with having you know, the ag security areas. We've got a thousand and two townships in Pennsylvania uh, with ASAs in their townships. And that's the very first block in farm and preservation in Pennsylvania. Right. So it just, it goes on and on. Mr. Secretary, as we approach the, the holiday season here, uh, Pennsylvania turkey farms and, and Pennsylvania Christmas tree farms 
uh, will provide, uh, you know, Pennsylvania and indeed uh, American families uh, with uh, some comfort, yeah. some sustenance, and a, a little reliable uh, nostalgia that uh, that we all kind of need right now, I think. And uh, hopefully, you can report uh, that we're uh, we're all set uh, for uh, for a good holiday season here, and 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 things are going well with our pipeline and and our, our agricultural products uh, getting to market. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving as well, and, and uh, you know, uh, counted among the the very special holidays of the year where you give thanks for so much, right? And, and this year, I don't think there's anybody, you know, who doesn't understand, you know, our community a lot better, our people, our politics, our needs uh, in so many ways. So that is important. Our turkeys are ready. Uh, you know, the apples are harvested. The Christmas trees are ready to cut. Uh, I think the, the growing year has been really an exceptional, notwithstanding some pockets of pain around weather. But sure. it, it, it's sort of our, our prep for, you know, the food system generally, but also the holiday season. Seven and a half million turkeys are ready. Uh, we've got uh, a million Christmas trees that'll be cut over the next, you know, two months. Uh, so we're, we're ready to go and, and look forward to doing our part to make this a special holiday. Well, I know everybody's happy to hear that, Mr. Secretary. Well, that's all the time we have today. Mr. Secretary, thank you so much uh, for joining us and taking time out of your busy day to, 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 uh, to speak with us. Joe, uh, th thank you. I'll just, I'll just say on behalf of the Department of Agriculture, you mentioned earlier the partnership is one that you value and trust. And, and uh, right back at you to each of the township supervisors who make you know, the tough decisions every day what to do, how to do it, keep the roads open, you know, keep people connected in so many ways. Uh, we very much appreciate what they do on behalf of food and agriculture. And for the PSATS team, uh, hats off to you. Thank you. Great job. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. And remember, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to PSATS YouTube channel and follow our social media pages for more Township Video News content. Next Tuesday, look for Dave Talk. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>